Hey everyone, it's Courageous and I am here with an unboxing video. I'm really excited. I already opened it. I opened it yesterday, hidden from my husband because he's like more tarot decks and I'm like, that's right. So I have the Numinous Tarot um, and I'm really excited for this unboxing. Uh, there is a lot of representation, a lot of uh, blurring of the binary uh, and a lot of representation of queer people and that really resonates with me this is created illustrated and written by Noel Arthur Hempel who I believe goes by the pronouns uh, they them so they created the numinous Tarot, and we're about to go into this unboxing oh I, I love that they you know take the time right so you know handwrite thank you heart no uh, and I got the their business card which has this nice little design and their information on the back I got a little cutout of the full card and a nice bookmark uh, saying that they're coming out with a, an Oracle deck uh, so, oh, it's already on Kickstarter, March 11th. So I will go check that out. Uh, it's called the Threadbound Oracle. So it comes with this full length guidebook. And uh, it comes with some spreads. And it comes with picture and a very lengthy description. So I will be reading this thoroughly. So we get about two pages of description for each card. So let's get to the goods. Let's get to the card. So the box is pretty sturdy. It's really big though. Um, so I will probably store, store this somewhere else. This, it comes in this plastic holder thing this off I, I had already taken it off I put it back on yesterday so the first thing I noticed is you have to kind of flex the cards it does have this gilded edging which is beautiful but the cards kind of stick together I started separating a few of them yesterday but I did have to kind of go like this So that they wouldn't stick together they are um they're they are glossy as you can see the gloss um but for the most part once you once you kind of like go like that they they stop sticking together um so these are the backs cardstock is pretty good i can't wait to give it a shuffle they do fit in my hand this way let me see they're about the size about the size of my hand so they are standard size now these cards do change the names of the suits the suits are let me get some better lighting uh, the suits are bells candles tomes and vials so here we have the four suits so vials let me see what they represent okay so vials are cups the tomes are the pentacles the candles are the wands and the bells are the swords so the vials represent water the tomes represent earth candles fire and bells uh, represent air they also change the names of the court cards so these for instance the creators are queens and then we have the dreamers, which are the, the pages. And 
the explorers are the the knights and then we have the mystics who are the kings so this is obviously so that see what I mean they stick together uh, these this is so that we're not tying gender to the cards and we are not operating on that masculine feminine uh, binary since the author illustrator and um, Noel is is non a non-binary gender fluid person so I personally love this because uh, we sh I, I believe that we should be moving away from from this fixed binary no person in my opinion um, is should be limited by 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 binaries if they want to uh, fluctuate between the binary um, they want to move beyond it that is their choice and we should respect it uh, but in terms of the cards it's great so that people aren't confused because when they see a queen let's say my husband his card um, the card that represents him is the queen of cups so if he who identifies as a cisgender heterosexual male right sees himself represented as a queen of cups he's gonna be like I'm not a queen right so just removing the gender from the cards is a, is a, in general a good idea for reading so that people aren't kind of uh, resistant to certain cards because they see they've been assigned a gender that may not identify that they may not represent the gender they identify with all right so let's enough of that let's get to these cards so they're uh, obviously I just moved some out of order but the cards that came first were the court cards and then yeah so they're not in any particular order I think they go yeah they go in order from the courts and then they're in order by ones twos all of that so I will separate the major arcana so the cards are kind of like dropping this this residue and it may be like I said because of this matte gilding I don't know if you can see but it's kind of like flaking so that's something to be aware of uh, so I'm not gonna put these in order I'm just gonna go flip through the cards so this is the Explorer of Tomes. So again, the Explorers are the Knights. So the T Explorer of Tomes would be the Pentacles. And we see the allusion to the Pentacle there. Very beautiful. The Explorer of Vials, which would be the Knight of Cups. The Dreamer of Tomes, which would be the page of pentacles and again we still see the traditional allusion to the pentacle even though the tomes are supposed to be uh, the books but they'll have the pentacle in there somewhere the dreamer of candles which would be the page of wands beautiful the mystic of bells which would be the king of swords and this is uh, this is actually my significator, uh, my card, the King of Swords. So I'm loving it. Oh, and look, we see representation. Um, there's a nice, clear uh, wheelchair there. Very nice. Love the lipstick. The Explorer of Candles or the Knight of Wands. And we see the Salamander there. The creator of bells, so this would be the queen of swords. Explorer of bells, the knight of swords. Very nice. I like this card. Yellow is my favorite color, so that's very nice. Dreamer of bells. I like this. 
love the colors I just love the colors they're so beautiful creator of tomes beautiful beautiful oh yes come through with the curly hairs oh this is very nice dreamer of files mystic of candles mystic of tomes so that would be the king of pentacles mystic of vials the king of cups i love this full card i love i i love full cards that that just embody like this daring but obviously with assessing the situation i'm pretty sure they assess where where to throw themselves right because we do see the waves crashing against the rock but they're not crashing into where the waves are heavy um they're crashing more toward the center even though there is the idea of risk with the with the lightning the storm brewing back there but i love fool cards that that just take the leap they go for it the ace of bells ace of candles i love sunflowers and again i think we got some cards stuck here there we go ace of tomes ace of vials the magician the diviner so that would be the high priestess the name has been changed again so it's not bound to any any gender so that's that's a good change of the name the two of bells i like how the the, the head is kind of just kind of like faded out the two of candles I'm using the candles as a as a walking as walking uh, aids so just representation you know we have it's not an ableist deck it's not a um, it, it's very inclusive um, in terms of gender, in terms of diversity, in terms of, uh, a, uh, you know, disabled representation as well. So I, I think everyone can see themselves in these cards, which is what drew me to them. It's the two of tomes, the two of vials, mermaids, I love mermaids, the nurturer. So again, this is the the changed name this is for the empress card the nurture very nice three of bells and so this is a very nice card because again we see the three of swords the three of swords is one of like the most dreaded cards right and it's usually a heart being pierced by three swords so this is a good a nice a nice change where it's not that scary uh, we still have the heart and we still have the bells around it but i feel like it gives it um it's open to more interpretation even though we still have what looks like blood dripping on the bottom uh, on the background but i feel like it's a, a like my my clients would see this and not be completely scared right because the three of, of 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 swords definitely does have um various interpretations and it's not necessarily a bad card um and i think this would would be um, would go easier on on clients getting a reading the three of candles there's like a figure all the way down there walking the three of tomes the three of vials that looks like a fun time. The Four of Bells. The Four of Candles. So that goes along with the Rider Waite Smith kind of uh, celebration. Just more people. I love the Four. Four of Tomes. Four of Vials. 
that one goes along with the right away it's meant to over it the founder so this would be the emperor card the five of bells the five of candles we fight in the what <laughs> the five of tomes the five of vials I love the depiction of like the wilted wilted flowers but there's still one there so all is not lost the visionary so this would be the hierophant or the high priest gorgeous six of bells six of candles love the birthday cake six of tomes oh, a little free library i just love that I've, I've always wanted to start one in front of my house but it's not my house <laughs> uh that and like a little free pantry but when i buy my house i'm definitely doing it zoning laws permitting six of vials so here we got an ancestor from beyond coming from the the vial and here's the the descendant very i love this it's like an ancestral card and there is this the same ancestor no this is maybe a different one i love it the lovers so many people in union love is love is love i love it the lovers card is my birth card uh for my life path number the six Seven of Bells. Seven of Candles. The Seven of Tomes. I love it. Author signing. Seven of Vials. Very right away, Smith. With the with a twist. I love it the chariot oh it's a unicorn my daughter well there are two unicorns my daughter would love this card the eight of bells the eight of candles eight of of tomes sorry eight of vials the strength card I love it the bear looks so vicious but they look so unperturbed it's like i'm gonna love you into submission like we got this beautiful the nine of bells the nine of candles we have age representation here as well because that's some of the complaints i i i see of about the mo like modern decks that there's not exactly age representation um, in these modernizations of the decks. And we have uh, someone with the head wrap. So this can apply to people from different religions and cultures, which, you know, I, I think that's definitely true. This doesn't really subscribe to a particular religion in terms of tarot anyone can it's for anyone I love that. the nine of vials they just look so happy i love it i love it the nine of cups is one of my favorite cards um it's my you know the wish come true card uh and, and it's just like i have everything i want i'm so happy i love her i love their glasses too the hermit The Ten of Bells. Oof. They're like tied to the bell. And then they're being pierced by something. This is very, very dark. The Ten of Candles. The Ten of Tomes very nice and the ten of vials 
right, let's look at these major arcana cards. This video is getting too long. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Very nice. The Hanged One. The Death Card. Temperance. like that the shadow so the shadow is the devil card so instead of the devil we have the shadow we still have the allusion to to the devil back there with those kind of the wings but I really like this. This is also numerologically, like if I didn't reduce, this is also my shadow card. Uh, since my life path number is six, the 15 adds up to six, this would be my, my shadow card. So aptly named, and I will definitely be studying with this one. The tower card. The star. Kind of Rapunzel-esque here there the moon very nice the sun beautiful awakening so awakening would be the judgment card as opposed to and i guess with the judgment it would be since traditionally it's depicted as like the rapture kind of thing uh so i get and 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 there's like an angel coming, I guess, maybe to remove the Christianity Christianity aspect. Uh, they went to awakening, which I like better awakening also because this is kind of, you know, we don't need to be raptured to do to have a spiritual awakening that can happen at any point in, in our lives. And it doesn't have to be um, after death. Right the world the love so many layers and numinous so this is the extra card let me i know the tarot is called the numinous tarot which i think means like the like the light or something uh, i read it but let me go so uh, so the numinous ooh, sorry uh the numinous is that feeling you get when staring up at the sky realizing that in that moment just how vast and beautiful space is it's what you feel when you find a special sunlit grove this card may be encouragement to go on go adventuring to find yourself in one of these moments you may need to sit with yourself and find your connection to the world at large uh so it may indicate that something you're currently experiencing or asking about has origins in the mysterious and the magical. And they did define what numinous means in the introduction. Let me read where they say it. Here we go. The numinous tarot name pulls from this. The word numinous is defined as surpassing comprehension or understanding and mysterious it is intended to be a tool for self-exploration healing and magic though you may of course use it however you like so that is in a nutshell what this card represents as well as the whole numinous tarot deck so yes i am going to start working with this tarot deck immediately so that is my tarot flip through like i said look my only complaint is these is residue but i just like i said it's probably from this gold building let's see let's clean it off and yeah it's definitely like the the gold gilding is kind of like chipping but let's see how it shuffles let's see uh, how we can riffle shuffle hopefully once it's like gotten some somewhere so that's good so shuffles beautifully but again my my issue is the 
is the residue hopefully when it gets some use it'll it'll calm down with the shedding but this has been my flip through of the numinous tarot uh, please be sure to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video this is courageous peace